to Meg's magical mansion, a virtual guest house for spiritual wayfarers, a place where the ordinary becomes magical, where wisdom is yours for the asking, and where your higher nature is just a wish away. Thank you so much for joining us here today at Meg's magical mansion. I'm Meg, and this is my trusty butler, Scallion. And here in my lap is my beautiful assistant, Miss Alice Poopers. We've been having some thunder, so she's a little scared today. So, Scallion, yes. do you know what our topic is today? Whoa, whoa. Keep trying, close. Whoa, whoa. Almost there. Wee oui, wee. Oui. Oh, you're speaking French. No, actually, today our topic is Wu Wei, which is the Chinese art and science of not trying not forcing scallion and going with the flow so today we're going to talk about going with the flow and manifesting from neutral and doing nothing can be very productive so stick around we're going to learn how that is a true statement and we have a giveaway i'm going with the flow It's time again for Words of Wisdom. And today, I'm going to recycle one of my favorite quotes. I believe I've used this in another episode. It comes from the famous film star and martial artist, Bruce Lee. Sit back and relax and let's listen to our Words of Wisdom. Be like water making its way through cracks. Do not be assertive, but adjust to the object and you and shall you find, find a way, way around, around or through it. If nothing within you stays rigid, outward things will disclose themselves. Empty your mind. Be formless, shapeless, like water. If you put water into a cup, it becomes the cup. You put water into a bottle, and it, and it becomes, becomes the, bottle. the bottle. You put, put it in a teapot, it becomes, becomes the teapot. The teapot. Now, now, water, water can, can flow, flow or, or it can it crash. crash. Be, water, Be water, my friend. Poops, did you enjoy that quote from Bruce Lee? Oh, yo, it's oh, oh, oh. She's working on her kung fu moves. You working on your kung fu, baby? <laughs> You're so funny. I do love that quote, and it's going to tie in very well with what we're discussing today. Because today, I'm going to talk to you about a wonderful way to help you manifest from a place of neutrality. And that is Wu Wei. Wu Wei is the Chinese art and science of not trying. It is the action of inaction. And today, we're going to learn a little bit more about Wu Wei, what it is, where it came from, how you can use it to help you manifest and live your life in a glorious way from a place of neutrality. Wu Wei is the art of non-doing or doing nothing. And while it kind of gives you the impression that maybe you're just supposed to sit back and relax or be lazy or apathetic, that is really not the case. Because this is kind of a call for you to only rise up to the noblest kinds of action and not get bogged down with a lot of the little picky details. And it's at the heart of Taoism and what it means to follow the Tao or the way. 
According to the Tao Te Ching, which is the central text of Taoism, the way never acts, and yet nothing is left undone. So I think this is a kind of a good description of the paradox that is Wu Wei. It doesn't really mean you're not doing anything. It means sort of effortless action or actionless action. And it kind of means that you are have a sense of peace while you are engaged in the craziest, most frenetic, most intense tasks. And so you can just zone out and carry out these tasks with the maximum skill and the minimum effort. When an athlete speaks about being in the zone, this is exactly what we're talking about. It's a state of extreme concentration and flow. You're not thinking, you're just doing. Wu Wei has a very strong connection with the Taoist reverence for nature and everything about the natural world. And a big part of it is kind of striving to be as spontaneous and just as part of the natural flow of life as we can be. You want to think about swimming with the current rather than against the current. Another good analogy that's often used is the idea of sailing across the lake as opposed to rowing across the lake. Because when you sail, you're using nature and you're taking each tack across the lake. You don't sail straight across the lake. You use the wind and you go at angles and you tack across the lake. You row straight across the lake, but you use a lot of energy to get there. So Wu Wei involves letting go of the idea that you have to work hard and force things and make things happen and encourages you to allow things to happen. Wu Wei encourages us to put our egos aside and to develop a unity between ourselves and the environment. And that releases an energy that's normally held back by our kind of hostile and aggressive and frenetic way of thinking that so many of us are involved with. You know, the analogy of water that we used in our words of wisdom is such a wonderful analogy because it really points out that water, which is submissive and weak, is also unsurpassed for attacking anything hard and strong. It just wears rocks away. It finds its way around or through any obstacle. It has a gentle persistence and it just kind of can adapt and comply to the shape of any problem or any obstacle. And it'll either, as I said, work its way around or gradually erode it till it's all gone. You know, some Chinese poets have uh, likened Wu Wei to the best aspects of being drunk. Not that they were saying everybody should go out and be an alcoholic, but that feeling of letting loose that you get when you just have one or two drinks, that little bit of drunk, that is an area where you can just kind of get in the zone and let things flow, and it helps reduce your rigidity on a lot of things. Not saying y'all go out and get drinks, but... We even find the Wu Wei in Chinese artwork, where you see that moving away from some of these laborious attempts to recreate things perfectly as they look in nature, kind of fell away and gave way to the idea that art should express how nature makes you feel, rather than be a strict recreation of the object you see with your eyes. It should be a recreation of how that object makes you feel. And so it really has brought a lot into the world of art and the idea of letting go, not worrying, and just allowing things to create themselves. As an artist, I find that aspect of it particularly attractive. So the idea of Wu Wei sounds awesome, doesn't it? You just get in the flow, you go with the zone, but we all know that's probably a lot easier said than done. So let's look at some different ways from maybe some different philosophical viewpoints of how you could achieve that sense of Wu, wu Wei. So 
take a look at how you might view it if you were into the thoughts of Confucius. That philosophy might say to just try so hard, work so hard that you internalize so you can stop thinking about it and just give up trying and embody whatever it is you're doing. This is something a lot of top athletes do. Let's say you're a gymnast. You just practice till so hard, till every move of that routine is so internalized that when it's time to compete, you're not thinking, you're just doing. So that would kind of be one way to think about it. The Taoist way would be to think of like the uncarved block. That's the back to nature. That's kind of like, just give up. Don't try so hard. Undo this learning you've got programmed into you from childhood. It's kind of the dropout hippie idea, back to nature. So number two would be just give up, drop out, tune out, and go live on a farm. The third idea is to try, but don't try too hard. This is the analogy of the farmer. There's a time to do certain things. There's a time to plant the seeds. But once the seed is planted, you can't just sit there and like pull on the little seedlings because you just pull them up. Pulling on them doesn't make them grow faster. And you can't water it all day because you'll just drown them and wash them away. So there's a point in time where the farmer has to kind of leave the plants alone and let them grow. So this is the period of inaction. Don't mess with them. Intervene as little as possible. And then when it's harvest time, guess what? You got to get busy again and you need to bring the harvest in. So this idea of try but not too hard. Try at key points. Try to tune in on when you need to take action and when you need to sit back and work with the natural timing of the universe. And number four is the empty mind strategy. That's where you just zone out, empty your mind, and let the Tao or let the way pull you along. Let the river push and pull you. Be in touch with your heavenly guidance and allow it to happen. You need to shut down the rational mind and just follow the flow and let it take you. This is the idea of the artist sitting down and starting to paint and not really thinking or planning, just painting, going with the flow, letting the painting kind of paint itself and just letting it all go and letting it happen. And when he's done or she's done, they just look back and say, wow, look at this amazing thing I created. And I wasn't even really thinking about it. It just happened. I allowed it to happen. There's also the concept of following the grain. In wood, when you cut, you follow the grain to get the easier cut. And this is the same idea. You want to go with the flow, follow the grain, and really listen for your divine guidance and don't force it. Let it happen. Act in accordance with the patterns of things as they exist around you in nature. And I think we all know that sadly, in our modern world, this is something we do not do enough of. So just tweaking our awareness a little bit more of the natural world around us, appreciating it, and this is why this ties in really well with me and paganism, because paganism is also all about celebrating the seasonal aspects of the earth, the turning of the earth, and the cycle of life. So Wu Wei ties in very closely with that as well, with this respect for nature. And I just want to encourage everybody to get out there and do your best to treat the earth with respect and really try to live and act in accordance with her cycles. Try to just let go a little bit. You don't have to hold on quite so tight to everything. And there's frankly a lot of things we hold on way too tightly to that we cannot control. So especially I want to encourage you to let go of things you cannot control this week. And just try to maybe focus on the things where you really can make a difference or an impact. So let it go and go with the flow, my friends. Be like water. So that's a little bit more about Wu Wei, what it is, where it came from, how you can use it in your life to help you manifest things. You know, a lot of times we're talking about 
attracting in positive energy. And that's because we live in, in like a swirling cesspool of negativity, many of us. Not everybody, but many of us have to live in a world that has a lot of negative energy going on. So we're almost compelled to be sucking in positive energy to offset a lot of the negativity that we are forced to face every day that we go out into the world. But when you can adapt Wu Wei into your life, when you have the art of not trying, the art of not forcing, and you allow things to happen, You'd be surprised how easy it is to manifest. Remember, the yin and the yang has a dark and a light. You need both negative and positive energy to manifest. You cannot just manifest from all positive energy because that's not realistic. And then when you crash and something bad happens, you crash super hard. So trying to maintain a life that's unrealistically rainbows and unicorns isn't really healthy. And that's not balanced. And being, you know, a negative Debbie Downer, oh, it's so sad, everything's going to be horrible, that's not good either. Or just being a flat-out negative or bad or evil person. Everyone has their light and their dark side. And when you are balanced, when your chakras are balanced, when your yin and your yang are balanced, that's when manifesting becomes very easy. And I know that we do need in our society to pump a lot of positive energy in to our little pink bubbles, but that's largely because of, I believe, the time and place that we live in. I just want you to think about, it's very good to be positive, but it's better to be balanced. And the reason we do look for a lot of positivity and suck that energy in is because we are trying to balance our yin and our yang. Be careful, don't get too much happy go sunshine, and don't get too much stark and stormy day. You want a really perfect balance. And that's Wu Wei. That's when you're just allowing and going with the flow and dealing with the things you need to deal with when you need to deal with them. I think the analogy of the farmer was excellent. Uh, the analogy of the athlete being in the zone is perfect, especially appeals to a lot of Western thinking. Ask a baseball player what they're thinking when they hit a home run, and they're going to say, nothing because to hit a home run you're not thinking you're doing so unplugging that overzealous mind that's going 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 and allowing and then when the time is right you take the correct action and you do that you plant the seed as in the farmer analogy you reap the harvest when it's time but in between you have to let it grow so we've had some great analogies about how you can incorporate Wu Wei, the art and science of not trying into your life, how you can put the action of inaction to good use to help you manifest everything you want and have the kind of life that you want. I interrupt this episode just to have a brief word with you on respecting nature. Clearly, this is a big part of, of Wu Wei. And I want you to know that Miss Poopers and I have yet another new outfit. I know we're on an endless fashion parade for you, but I want you to know that I have been making a very conscious effort in the last few years to clothe myself in a way that is respectful of the earth. Because if you know anything about fast fashion, you know that it is very disrespectful and the practices used to make those clothes are very damaging to the earth. So I have been trying for the last few years to buy most of my clothing from thrift stores or consignment shops and buy clothes that is gently, clothing that is already gently used. Sometimes you buy new stuff in there, people didn't even wear it, it's got the tags on it. This shirt I got thrifting and it, it literally still had the tags on it, never been worn. And today, our beautiful new outfits that we're wearing, I made from fabric I got at the thrift store. It was a, it was a curtain. No, really. And I turned it into a pair of pants and a lovely little dress for Miss Poops. So I'm doing my part by trying to work hard to really avoid fast fashion. And just know that a lot of the clothing you see Poops and I wear on the show, I make probably 80 or 90% of it. And of all the fabric we're using, almost all of it has been thrifted or repurposed from other garments that I'm not wearing anymore. So that's my little plug for today. Watch the fast fashion kids. 
And of course, you know we have a giveaway today. We're going to give away a $25 Amazon gift card. And we're going to play a new game that we haven't played before. Because I like to play games. We're not going to play Name That Tune. We're going to play Name That Movie. So if you can be the very first person to down below tell us the name of the movie that this song is from, you will win our $25 gift card. Moon River, wider than a mile, I'm crossing you in style, someday you dream maker. Buddha. A thousand candles can be lit from a single candle, and the life of the candle will not be shortened. Happiness never decreases by being shared. So thank you for sharing your time and attention with us here today at Meg's Magical Mansion. If you had a nice time, if you got your woo way going, why not give us a like or a share? Hey, you could subscribe. It's like the end thing to do, baby. And don't forget to ring the bell so we can let you know when we post new episodes. And until next time, when we see you back here at Meg's Magical Mansion. <laughs> hey, everybody. Well, the power went out. Alice Poopers is hiding because she's very scared. But, you know, I got to thinking when the power goes out, this is kind of an interesting thing. It makes me think of having to just go with the flow. I can't turn the power on. I'm sorry. I wish I could. I just have my little fake candle here. Thank goodness I have this. And I see the power trucks driving around, but I can't do anything. I might as well sit back and relax, go with the flow. It's kind of nice to just enjoy. Nature's been putting on a beautiful lightning show for us out back. And we've just kind of been sitting back and enjoying it. And instead of worrying or fretting about when the lights might come back on, you know, we're just kind of enjoying the thrill and the excitement of the beautiful light show that nature has been putting on for us. It's been kind of fun. <laughs>